Hello, football fans, and welcome to Guacaquibola. Say, Michelle Wee. And I'm Ben Ibrahim. And these are the lovely girls of Guacaquibola. Say hello, girls. Hello, hello. Maybe we need to know one another to Arsenal, then you shall see us come on the game. Let's find out. I think Chelsea will win. Why do you think Chelsea will win? Because, uh, well, they, to start with, they're a much better team. And because they're at home. Kalau tengok dari segi performance, sekarang nampaknya macam uh, Arsenal. Tapi uh, kita tak tahu kan. Biasanya Chelsea ni, diorang ada last minute punya performance yang unpredicted juga lah. Arsenal kalah di tangan Chelsea untuk FA Cup kan. So most probably diorang akan revenge balik pun, most probably pun 2-1 lah. Why do you think that Chelsea will win? I don't know actually, I'm a Man U supporter. Okay. I have to choose Chelsea because they're kind of below Man U right now. Uh, why do I think they're going to win? They're probably going to lose in the first half, but towards the end, Drogba is going to score on it, last minute. That's what he usually does. This week's match, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Email in your match prediction and win prizes. It's an international feel at Kakibola. We have an international guest. Miss, what's your name? Kaede. Kaede. Where are you from? Japan. Japan. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou Okay, let's see how good you are at football. Question number one. Arsenal were formed in 1886 under the name Dial Square. True or false? True. Correct! Woohoo! She's on the board. She's from Japan and she knows her football. Okay, Theo Walcott. Holds the record as Arsenal's youngest ever scorer. True or false? False. Did you say false? She is too smart. It is correct. Okay. And the final question. Okay. Dennis Bergkamp is Arsenal's all-time top scorer in European competition. True or false? True. Ooh, incorrect. Arsenal are known as the Gunners. True or false? True. Ooh, incorrect. Gunners. They're known as the Gunners, my friend. Never mind. Question number two. Arsenal have won the English Premier League title a total of 13 times. True or false? False. Ooh, incorrect. Ooh. One more time. David O'Leary holds the record for most appearances for Arsenal. True or false? False. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. Zero out of three. Better like next time. Kaki Bola, we have gone international from Japan. To Canada. What's your football knowledge on the scale of one to ten? Oh, I'd say probably around a three. A three. Well, maybe a four. Maybe. maybe a four. Well, don't worry. We're gonna test your knowledge. Question number one: True or false? Teddy Sheringham is Tottenham's all-time leading scorer. False. She's on the board. Ah! Okay, if you get three right, you win the prize. And I'm not talking about a Ferrari either. Okay, question number two. Tottenham play their home matches at White Hart Road. True or false? False. She's on the board. Two out of two. Go, Canada. Hey. Okay, question three. All right, you win this. You get this right. You bring home the prize. Roman Palyachenko originates from the country of Ukraine. True or false? False. She knows the answers. Yep, she wins the prize. Three out of three. Jessica, 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 Jessica. Winning the La Liga is one thing, but you know, after they won the La Liga, Bunchuster got sacked. And then, um, yeah, they just keep changing coaches and stuff like that. So I feel. They need to at least keep one coach, at least for a while, let them develop, let them all gel together and then, you know, be more effective instead of just after six months or after like how long, you know, because, you know, there's no results or you lose this game <clears throat> and then straight away, you know, sex. So I'm disappointed now, but yeah. That atmosphere was at Bukit Jali Stadium. It was just so amazing. I mean, you know, you always see, especially in Malaysia, they all watch English Premier League. Premier League is like, oh, you know, Wembley, it's a, all the fans are like, but it's so beautiful in Malaysia as well because you see like green and uh, yellow and red and yellow on one side so it's so colorful so beautiful there with their banners and everything 
with the fans. Oh my God, the things they say to each other and they just go on for days. I tell you, if, you know, if if their team wins, they'll be gloating, mm -hmm. and if if the loser team, you know, they they have one million and one excuses to, you know. So I think it's nice. It's really nice because it's healthy and all. But sometimes it can get a bit unhealthy as well when it becomes too, you know, and it gets like they just keep dissing mm -hmm. their opponent. Yeah, that that part is yeah not that fun. Sometimes it will be football up close, like what John Dyke's doing. Oh, I so envy him. But yeah, that'll be so great because you get to meet all these great players and get to see them off the pitch, like what they actually like. You know, their, you know, their struggles before they became big and stuff like that. So I think that is, yeah, that is amazing. That's an amazing job. Log on to gua.com.my to view the full interview. Question of the week: Should the transfer window be scrapped? Log on to gua.com.my to vote. Then get onto the Gua Kakibola forum to debate further. We hope you enjoyed the show. Jumblagi. Okay, makan time, girls. Anybody? Four, huh? Okay, Andrea, see you on Friday. Four, leg light, leg light.